London-bound adventurer Sarah Uten rode away from Chatham Harbor last Thursday, leaving a crowd of well-wishers cheering from the beach. With photographers and fans aboard, the chase boats that accompanied her over the bar peeled off one by one until her only escort came from a few curious seals. I know that once I'm on the boat, I'm just going to feel calm and it's my space. And once I pull those first oar strokes, I'll just start settling in and that, that will feel really good. So it's interesting to think I'm so close, relatively, in the context of the whole journey. And home is literally over the water that way. But uh, equally, it's still the North Atlantic Ocean, so that's still quite, uh, that's still quite a, a, a big thing. A transatlantic row is a feat that many athletes have tried and few have accomplished. For Uten, it's just a portion of the round-the-globe odyssey dubbed London to London via the world. She rode out from underneath the Tower Bridge four years ago, crossing the English Channel before cycling across Europe and Asia. Her first bid to row the Pacific failed when a typhoon caused her to abandon her boat, and Uten returned home exhausted and mentally depressed. She took up the challenge, rowing from Japan to the Aleutians and kayaking to mainland Canada before bicycling across the continent over the winter. She arrived in Chatham on April 3rd, parking her bicycle in front of Chatham Light in a cold drizzle. I just want to say thank you. Whatever part you've played in my life um, these last few weeks, whether it's been having me over to dinner, whether making me sweat in the gym or mashing out my muscles, sorting out my boat and, and helping us fix any sort of little tinkering problems, etc. Uh, whether you've been uh, in the audience or one of the school talks, just thank you very much. And um, I'll be pulling some of those miles home for you guys. The last leg of Uten's journey is expected to take three to four months. You can follow her progress each day online at www.sarahuten.com. Reporting for the Cape Cod Chronicle, I'm Alan Paula.